um, yeah, obviously, um, I was probably struggling a little bit out there whilst batting, and it was hot. I think I went through about 10 pairs of gloves, so I was sweating a lot. And um, yeah, when I came off, um, had a nice bath, and then got out on the field and sprinted for one and felt my calf almost go and cramp up, and then I bowled my first ball, and the same feeling kind of happened. So um, <laughs> thankfully, um, I then stayed in the ring and didn't need a field on the boundary where I normally do, and um, bowling was just getting through the crease. I probably didn't put as much energy through the crease as I would have liked, but um, still managed to get through. The team? Um, yeah, I think, you know, for me, I was inspired to be a white fern watching that 2010 World Cup, which Sophie was at, and from that moment, I was at the nets with my dad, pretending I was batting with Sophie and Susie, and I, like, being in the team so young and playing with my role models who have been so good to me, um, and two of New Zealand's greatest ever cricketers, um, I don't necessarily believe you deserve things in sport, but if any two people do, it's Sophie and Susie, and I just think back to myself as a kid that was batting with Sophie and Susie in the nets, and like when I was at primary school in creative writing, I wrote about winning a World Cup with Sophie and Susie, and so to be here now, having done that, I think that's probably why I was so emotional out on the field in the moment, and um, yeah, it's something that's so special when I think back to my younger self, and to be here now and to do it with two of New Zealand's best ever. Uh, ben Strang here from RNZ. Uh, firstly, I wanted to ask you, Sophie, you read out something to the team, you had a piece of paper there that you were reading <laughs> out to the team. Maybe you don't want to share what you said, <laughs> but I was wondering if you could tell us what you told the team, how you got them ready for the game. And merely, I just wanted to know how you dealt with, was it cramps that you were dealing with today? Like, I mean, it's a pretty superhuman effort for you to, to get through that and perform in the, at the level you did. So I just wanted to know about those two. You go. Um, <laughs> well, we have a bit of a tradition before the start of each warm up, someone gets nominated to do a joke of the day. And I was in charge of a joke, but I had a number of them, but I'm not sure if I can repeat any of them, unfortunately though. Yeah, we'll, we'll keep it PG, but yeah, it's just a nice way to lighten the mood and have a bit of a laugh before we get stuck into business. I'm not sure how I beat that. Um, oh, I just hope that it instills belief and confidence in these young ones. I think we've seen over the last three or four weeks their confidence grow, and as a leader, that's what you want, is to see that growth, and I know we've sort of joked about being grandmas and mums and whatnot, but it, it really is. You feel a real sense of pride in seeing them stand up and take opportunities and to take moments, and like, merely today was unbelievable. Like, what you're able to achieve out there is pretty bloody cool. Um, so, yeah, from us, to, to be able to win it, it is. It, it's just nice to have that. I think it's always something that you want want to have when you finish your career. I'm not retiring, by the way, <laughs> just putting that out there. But, um, <laughs> but yeah, to, to be able to say that you're a World, World Cup winner is something that's, yeah, is really special. And to be able to share it with this group of players, it's obviously something that you hold on to for the rest of your career.